Hello everyone! In this tutorial I want to show you how to knit this wonderful winter beanie. It's very soft, fluffy and warm. The brim is quite voluminous because it's folded up twice and it keeps your ears extra warm. The head is knit in the English rib in the round, so there's no seam. For this project you will need mohair yarn. The head is knit with 4 strands of yarn held together. Circular needles, 5mm, that's US size 8, a marker, a tapestry needle, and scissors. You can find more information in the description box below. Let's begin knitting. Cast on. With 4 strands of yarn held together, you will need to cast on 54 plus 1 additional stitch to join the stitches in the round. That's a total of 55 stitches. I'm using the long tail cast on method and I'm casting on over two needles at once, that way the edge of the hat won't be too tight. Joining in the round. When you have your stitches ready, make sure they're not twisted. To actually join the stitches in the round, you need to slip the first stitch from the left needle purlwise. Then you need to bring the second stitch over that slipped stitch. And return the slip stitch onto the left needle. That's it, now you have 54 stitches. Row 1, this is our setup row. Place a marker at the beginning of the row and let's begin. Yarn over, slip one stitch purlwise, knit one. And repeat. Yarn over, slip one stitch purlwise, knit one, repeat. Yarn over, slip one, knit one. And just continue till the end of the row. Row 2. This is the first repeat row. Slip the marker. There's a pair of two stitches, a purl stitch and a yarn over. We're going to purl them together. Then there's a single knit stitch. We're going to yarn over and slip that stitch purlwise and repeat purl two together
yarn over, slip one purl wise, repeat, purl two together, yarn over, slip one purl wise. And continue until the end of the row. Row 3. This is the second repeat row. Slip the marker. In this row the first stitch is a single purl stitch. So we're going to yarn over and slip that stitch purlwise. Then there's a pair of two stitches. A knit stitch and a yarn over. And we're going to knit them together. And repeat, yarn over, slip one purl wise, knit two together. Repeat, yarn over, slip one purl wise, knit two together. Continue until the end of the row. Repeat rows 2 and 3 until the piece measures 40 cm, that's 16 inches. How to remember the pattern easily? If there's one stitch, you make a yarn over and you slip the stitch purlwise. If there's a pair of two stitches, a stitch and a yarn over. Then if it's a knit stitch, you knit two together. If it's a purl stitch, you purl two together. When the piece measures 40 cm or 16 inches, you can start to shape the crown. In the first row, we're going to transition from the English rib into the single rib. The first stitch is a purl stitch, so we're just going to purl one. Next, we have a pair of two stitches, we're going to knit them together. And repeat, purl 1, knit 2 together, and continue until the end of the row. The second row is worked in one by one ribbing, so you just purl one, knit one. Repeat that across the row. In the third row, we're going to decrease the stitches, so just knit two together across the row. You will have 27 stitches left. To finish, cut the yarn, leave a 30 cm, 16 inch long tail, thread it on a yarn needle and pull it through the remaining stitches.
Carefully pull the yarn to close the top of your hat. Pull the tail for the top of the hat, secure and tighten. Now you just need to weave in the ends and you're all done. Thank you very much for watching. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next videos.